Hello everybody, my name is Hamas. Today y'all are watching God's House. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a video of uh, uh, episode of Touch My Angel called Smoke Screen. Now, Smoke Screen, it deals with putting things before, it deals with putting work before everything else, including God. Now, now sometimes we don't realize what we're doing, but we do it. And sometimes we don't realize it until somebody points it out. But yeah, and we need to stop putting other things before God and and stop putting work first before our family and our friends. Because let's face facts, we can get fired. But if we get fired, at least we'll have our family members. But, um, you know, because a family member will be with you through the whole, a good family member will be with you through the hard times. Some of us ha aren't related biologically, but uh, we're related by, uh, like we, like we, uh, we still keep, we still call somebody mom or dad sometimes, somebody, somebody that's been there for us. And to me, that's what that means, to put uh, somebody else's needs above yours sometimes, e above even work. Cause, Cause sometimes you don't do that. Let me see some. I better delete that one. Okay. I got my phone right by my camera. But yeah, so um, we just need to be there for one another. We need each other, and we need to stop putting work before everything else. Some of us right now are putting work before relationships, work before God. Work before our children, work before our family, work before our mother, work before our father. We need to stop doing that, and work needs to become like a third tier thing. We need to put God first, then our family, then work. Well, sometimes, uh, like, uh, for those of us who are pastors or ministers, or work in the church, you know, work and God go hand in hand. I'm just talking about the average day person. But yeah. And also, I got uh, something to tell y'all. All Touch My Angel episodes are available on Paramount Plus. I was about to pay a hundred and some dollars for every episode. But they're all available on there. And for those of you who don't know what Paramount Plus is, it's like um, Netflix or Hulu or HBO Max. It's a streaming service just like that. I, I will, I've been a subscriber to them because that's where Star Trek's been playing for me. So that's why I do, that's where I watch that. Yes, I'm a tracky. Now, and I don't recommend that y'all watch Star Trek. Uh, because uh, Star Trek supports evolution. If you don't, don't believe me, watch this, the last two episodes of it, The Next Generation. But yeah, I don't recommend watching Star Trek. It's just something I like to watch. And that's could be my Achilles heel, my uh, big weakness. That and a uh, soda. And this is uh, like my fourth or fifth time making this video. And the reason why I was I stuttered, or I didn't know what I was ta talking about. And I was like, you know, that'd be a good, I should start over because I didn't start over a ride or something like that. But anyway, we need to put our work, our work for the average person needs to be like in the third tier. The first tier is God, second tier is family, third tier is our work. Now for those of us who are pastors, sometimes our work and God go hand in hand.
or those of us who are ministers, or those of us who um, do other things like clean the church, or like uh, just or there for one another. We need, we need to be there for one another. Yeah, and uh, that's another thing too that the episode gets at. People need to be there for one another. And there was a scene in the episode where they had this lawyer's mother as a, a, a I think it's a witness stand or sit on a witness stand or whatever, you know, to the left of the judge or might be to the right of the, the judge or the interrogator. And yeah, I'm not sure if that's legal or not, but yeah. Yeah. And uh, we need to, uh, to really focus on what's important in our lives. To really focus on the good things. Sometimes, because sometimes we always, a lot of us focus on the negative. We focus on, well, I could have done this, that, or that, or better. Whenever God says, look, don't worry about it, but you could have done better. Instead, worry about what he thinks of you, what God thinks of you. Like me, for instance, I, um... Could have probably went to church and had, uh, well, less, uh, I could have stayed home, but I chose to go to church, and God, God's proud of me for that. Or at least I think he is. Because I'm much red side though by church. For those of you who don't know, I have random muscle movements, and sometimes, uh, it can get to the point where I need to go to the hospital. But yeah. Yeah. And the, oh, by the way, all of these pictures that y'all seen, or at least most of them, I've taken personally. Yeah. But listen, God loves you. He does. And he says sometimes that we're just not ready for him to come, uh, come, come, uh, get us out of trouble. Or sometimes, sometimes he wants us to ask for forgiveness. Sometimes he wants us to ask um, and say we're sorry to whoever we hurt if they're still alive. Sometimes we need, we want, we need to ask him for forgiveness. Sometimes when, cause some, cause sin is sin. And whenever we sin against one person, we're sinning against God. That's the way I look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so, um, just please keep each other in your prayers. And it's don't put your work before your life, before your family, before your friends. No, y'all can't have work. Y'all can't have friends at work. That's different. I'm talking about like your yeah, uh, friends, like maybe that you grew up with. If if some of us have decent friends that we grew up with, or if some of us have uh. Colleagues that, that we have, that we are, uh, that we, that are good people. Well, good people, or good, good God people. Good people that follow God. Yeah. And a bunch of people might ask, well, uh, I don't know this is kind of off subject, but y'all gonna see uh why it's important. Why does God want 
why does God say give 10% of your income to the church whenever God says that the root of all evil is money? It's because churches have to pay bills. And they have to pay for equipment. They have to pay their pastors. You know, somebody, you know, the past, or well, sometimes uh, they have to pay their pastors. Sometimes they have to pay people. Sometimes they have to, uh, to just, uh, you know, pay somebody or give to the needy or to the poor or to the widows or to the orphans. God says, uh, God call, God tells the church to specifically give to the widows. She does. You don't believe me? Look it up. He does. He does. And uh, please keep me in your prayers as I, uh, right now I'm looking for another video game to play. I've, uh, well, I say looking, I've already ordered one, but it's used, and I'm not sure what the condition is going to be. I ordered it through Amazon. Yeah. And it should be coming in, uh, Wednesday. And today is Monday, I think. I think that's what it said. She'll be coming in Wednesday or something like that. But yeah. And a bunch of people might ask, well, how did, why did your videos look so good? And to that, I would say I put a ton of hard work and effort into all of my videos. Except the mobile ones. I'm not gonna lie, the mobile ones I barely do anything. All I do is capture and upload. And what do I mean by mobile? I mean like mobile games. Because I got uh, a new phone recently and I was like, how can I use this to serve God? And one of the things were uh, capturing uh, video game footage. Because I wanted, I guess I wanted to justify me getting a new phone, other than the fact that it's faster, and I was having some issues with the mic, my other phone. See, I spilled some, uh, some water on it, then one of my Tourette's episodes, or it might be by accident, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's my, one of my sisters. And her eyes don't really look like that. Yeah, and I did not take that picture. And this is as far as I can remember. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, sometimes we put our work before God. Whenever God's saying, look, you need to put me first, your family second, then Third should be uh your work, unless you're a pastor, or you know something along those lines. And God says, look, if God calls you to be a sweet as, well, there was an old saying that Dr. Martin Luther King said, and I might be paraphrasing this a bit, and I might be wrong because I got this from an episode of Touched by an Angel. But God said, uh, if God calls you to be a sweet, a street sweeper, then y'all should sweep and make the angels jealous. Yeah. And I, and I'd like to thank God because I was about to spend over $100 on some Touch My Angel CDs to buy all of the seasons. See, I have seasons. I want to say three and four, but there are like seven or eight seasons. So yeah, that, and I want to buy them, uh, you know. I want to buy them.
And also, uh, the video game, uh, the mobile video game might be coming out a little late because I was busy yesterday. And I could have probably done it, but I don't want to be like falling asleep and doing a video at the same time. I don't even know if I did a video yesterday. Yesterday, as in April 3rd, I want to say, yeah, April 3rd. Yeah, yeah, I keep on, I wonder if y'all can see that. I don't think y'all can. I keep on forgetting that y'all can't see the top of that. Because of the way the camera is. Yeah, so, uh, how do we deserve God's love? Well, we don't deserve God's love. It's freely given to us. And you see, God put us first, so we should put Him first. And listen, some days it's a good idea just to take some time out, chill out, and rest. That's why I do my video game videos, just for that time to chill out and rest. Yeah. Yeah. Please give me your prayers. I might have uh done something that was sinful the other day. I don't want to say what it is though, so. but it's not. I didn't break the law or anything like that. I did not break the law or anything like that. Just for those of you who are wondering. And, uh, please, uh, keep my little brother in your prayers. He's going through so much right now. You see, he was, he's adopted. And at the time of his adoption, his mother was a pure head. And his dad died whenever he was young. Like, uh, you know, just, uh, Three, maybe four, I, I don't know, I wasn't there, so all I have is pictures to go by. And he's just been through so much. Just so much has happened. And yesterday, uh, yeah. Well, let me stop right there, folks. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Hey, guys, if y'all like this video and y'all want to share the word of God, y'all can like and subscribe and comment. And if y'all want to donate some money, we have a Patreon page. Now, the Patreon stuff starts at $3 a month, and it goes up to $25. And the reason why we do it monthly is because that gives us an idea of what we're going to be able to make, like, for the next month. Anyway, bye, guys.